mi Bóg. Remember, no Russian. No Russian. A mission that started a barrage of controversy in 2009 with Modern Warfare 2. In my eyes, this is the most shocking material of its time. Seeing crowds being shot up in an airport, which you would never think this would be in a Call of Duty game. You never think this would be in a video game. You never think this would be in a piece of entertainment. And honestly, I really like this mission. Not because you shoot crowds up and all them lot. Let's just get that out of the way. But I, I like it because it sends a message to you know, us as a community that life isn't just a big giant blockbuster. It's not a big blockbuster film, it's not anything like that. This mission shows us the lengths that humans will go to to start controversy, to start conflict, to start political division. Even though this mission is shocking at most, but I think Infinity Ward really did add this mission in to spread a message. Even though it would get slammed by the media, and the media is always manipulating the truth, always manipulating what us human beings see. And sometimes they always cover up these things. Every time we are shown conflicts, they always have some weird political agenda behind things. And it just feels disgusting that the media would basically slam on Call of Duty just for clicks and money, basically. Obviously, this will never stop. Violence in video games and all that stuff is still gonna still go on. There's lots of research anyway. They lie just to make their audience feel danger. They always have to sugarcoat everything in lies and manipulation. With Infinity Ward's new game that's gonna come out very, very soon, I think it's like five months now, this campaign will make controversy, no matter what. I mean, it's already got controversy from the article, I think it's Dean Yakashaki. Uh, sorry if I butchered that name, but he he's ridiculed Call of Duty just for having a few missions that are out of his comfort zone. Again, Infinity Ward said it very, very clear. They want this campaign to be gritty. They, they don't want to sugarcoat it, they want to show the real events of war, the real events of terrorism. While these journalists, the media, keep on trying to censoring it, they're, they're trying to hide it from us. Look, if we weren't shown any depictions of real life war and conflict, we wouldn't be here right now. Let's be honest, if it weren't for history books, just basically history altogether, we wouldn't be here right now. We would probably still be making concentration camps if history didn't exist. And and us being shown prime examples of what war can have in the new Call of Duty campaign tells us that we should prepare to avoid this type of conflict, to avoid all this stuff and just try and fix it, if you guys know what I mean. This is more of a deep type video. It's just a bring out my frustrations a bit with media and it's just how corrupt they can be to sugarcoat everything and look I really do respect Infinity Ward's actions recently with the whole spread of misinformation they're not gonna follow what these journalists say they're gonna follow what the gamers want what we want with our entertainment and I'm really glad that Infinity Ward well in this tweet that I'm gonna show is you know they're not going to succumb to journalism the political agendas it's just everything all together which i'm really happy about and it's very unusual to see from the core g franchise like seriously so yeah guys if you enjoyed this video leave a like and also comment down what you think of this whole situation with the media and video games alike and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and I'll see you in the next video and I'll see you then.